Hi, Kim West, the sleep lady, and today I'm going to answer Lydia's question. Lydia emailed in the following. I'm, I have an almost two-year-old toddler who will be two in a couple of weeks, and she will not nap. This just started in the past, she would nap for two hours. We do the same routine we always do, books, rock, nap at the same time around one o'clock, but all of a sudden she will not go to sleep even though I know she's tired. She'll play for two hours in her crib. She normally goes to bed at 7.30 and will wake up at 7 a.m. Should we just forgo the nap? Not sure if this makes a difference, but she moved to one nap a day well before she turned a year old. Please help. Lydia, this is such a common question. I think that two-year-olds just get into this pattern of they, they think they don't need a nap when we know better because, as you said, she's tired. She's showing you that she's tired. And most two-year-olds need 11 hours at night, which it sounds like she's getting, and good for her and you, and about two hours during the day. So I would not give up. We can't make our children go to sleep. The only thing we can do is provide a nice environment and the right timing and, uh, and hope that they will go to sleep. So I would continue to have a soothing routine and put her in the crib and say nai nai, and if she's playing, she's playing. So I would make sure her room is dark enough and she doesn't have too many things to entertain herself um, in her crib. Although, believe me, I've seen kids entertain themselves for two hours with almost nothing in their crib, um, just themselves. Uh, so again, I, you can just check on her. You could use a, a wake-up light, um, either an appliance timer, or there's so many uh, products now on the internet that you can set to go off and say, we have to lie quietly in our crib until our special wake-up light comes on. Uh, you definitely can do that and then go in dramatic wake-up and so forth afterwards. The other thing that I see here is that you know you rock her before naps. Just want to make sure that in the past you weren't maybe rocking her too much and now that sleep crutch is wearing out and she needs you to really rock her more because she really doesn't know how to go, get to sleep by herself unless you rock her into a drowsier state. And if that's the case, don't worry because of course now you have to start putting her down without rocking her into a drowsy state and that's probably what it might be going on. Okay, so again, keep up the good work, stay consistent, and eventually she will return to sleeping during her nap time, even if it's every other day, okay? Because even if kids outgrow their nap earlier, I'm still a big proponent of quiet time, okay? Think about this, even if she were to, in, to be in preschool um, all day long, they still make kids lie down on a cot and have quiet time. So I think that that's a great idea to have at home too. All right, Lydia, I hope that was helpful. Thanks.